a pattern. For this demo, I've chosen to recreate this craftsman style ceramic tile as a marquetry panel. It is ideal for beginners as it is a simple design with no overlapping pieces and has a basic color scheme. A bandsaw with a resaw blade. Lumber that can be sawed into veneer. A fret saw and a bird's mouth. And a drill with a 132nd inch drill bit. You'll also need green tape, carbon paper, glue, some CA glue if you make a mistake, pencil, a sharp knife, and a printout of the pattern. We'll start by sawing our veneers. These should be cut to a heavy 332 of an inch. You should have all of your veneers ready to be sawed at the same time. That way you can keep the bandsaw settings the same and end up with veneers that are all the same size. Um, we can also take note at this time and see that I made a, a note right on the pattern of each type of veneer and which part of the pattern it will correspond to. So here we have a quarter sawn white oak for the background, the purple heart for the body of the dragonfly, we have poplar for the wings, uh, the corners and the stalks of the reeds will be of this torrified maple, the reeds themselves will be in this dyed green maple and this black ash burl will make the cattail head. Our next step is to transfer our pattern onto our backer veneer. So to do that, I take, cut out the pattern to the right size and tape it to the veneer. And then we add a piece of carbon paper, like so. And then we'll trace that onto our backer. Once you've transferred your pattern, just double check to make sure that it looks right. I had to do a little touch up here on the wing because the, the paper shifted and another little bit on the, the left cattail here. Um, but once you're happy with it, then you can move on to uh, preparing to cut. All of my cutting is done with this fret saw and this little base for hold this bird's eye um, jig. And you'll notice on the back that I have a line here, which is drawn at a seven degree angle. And this gets inserted into the vise and marked at seven degrees. This seven degree angle is important as it keeps a slight bevel on the pieces. That way your uh, bottom piece, when it gets removed and inserted into the top piece, piece will have a an angle on each of the edges of the pieces so they can fit together tighter and will close up any gaps. It also helps the hole that we'll drill for the uh, fret saw blade to kind of disappear. We're going to start with the dragonfly wings. So you're going to get your uh, poplar veneer that you're using for the background, for, for the wing, plus your background piece with the pattern on it. And we're going to tape the poplar piece behind the oak piece. And we're going to tape it there securely with masking tape. So now this is securely taped with masking tape on these sides here. And then we flip it over. It's on tight on this side as well. We're just gonna make sure that that is nice and tight, nothing's moving anywhere, and then we'll prepare to cut our wings. So we're gonna drill a hole into the pattern here. We want our drill bit to be on the waist side, the part piece we're cutting out, and the angle will hopefully move it over onto the waist side of the piece underneath. That's why that seven degrees is uh, important. You want your drill to be at 90 degrees, um, though the piece is seven degrees off of that. And I'm using a 132nd inch drill bit and you can see it goes through very quickly. With the saw blade strung through the hole that you've drilled, it's time to start cutting. You want to keep the saw straight up and down, perpendicular. Um, the piece will be at an angle, but your saw needs to move up and down and your saw needs to stay straight all the time. If you, there are curves, you move the workpiece rather than the saw to get around the curve.
Now with your piece, once you've cut all the way around it, you can unthread your saw. Your backing piece is going to pop out and the veneer from behind will pop forward and fill the space left like so. You can see here that I have made a mistake and broken the short grain um, between the pieces here. Um, that's not a huge deal. We'll just have to take a break, let it glue it up and let it set before we can continue. A little CA glue is just perfect for these small repair jobs. You'll notice on the first wing, I forgot to cut out the lines that make up the definition of his wing. So we'll have to come back to that one. But now that the glue is dried on this one, we've finished cutting it out. We can pop out the oak piece and we'll move the poplar piece up into its position and there we go if we have the other wing in there kind of get an idea of what we might look like once you have all your pieces cut out and we're ready to glue it we can get some, some tape some more masking tape and we're going to put a layer on the front covering up the holes And then we're going to flip it over and we'll put a small line of glue around the outside of each piece and we'll press it in and then more tape over the back. Once the glue is dried around your, your wings or whatever you cut out first, you can remove the tape. Don't worry if it doesn't look perfect yet, we'll be doing some sanding and gap filling later and then you can glue on the next piece. You see here we have the purple heart glued on or sorry, taped on, all ready to go for the body of the dragonfly. There are a lot of short grain bridges between each of these um, body segments. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out every other piece first, glue those in, and then once those pieces are glued back in and reinforcing it, I'll come back and cut out the remaining ones. As you can see, some of the pieces you cut out are going to end up being really quite small. So you'll want to keep careful track of them. Make sure you don't drop them on the floor. You, Good luck finding it if you do. Any gaps can be filled with a sawdust and glue mixture. It looks a little rough right now, but once it's sanded, it'll clean up nicely. I use the Random Orbit Sander uh, to sand with grits 150 up to 220, just making sure to keep a light touch so we don't sand through, and then finish off with hand sanding all the way up to 600 to give a nice even sheen. Finally, add the finish of your choice. Uh, here I'm just using General Armor Seal.